I love opening Tokidoki blind boxes. They're so cute and colorful and cheerful. They remind me to stay positive. And opening blind boxes is just like having your birthday and Christmas all wrapped up together in one super duper cute little package. Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Leilani Lamar. And to celebrate hitting 100 subscribers, I decided to make this little video and to open a few blind boxes. So welcome to my channel. If you're a, sub a subscriber, thank you so much. Um, whether you're new or you've been here from the beginning, I appreciate every single one of you. And if you're not subscribed and you're watching the video, go ahead and do it. Why not? <laughs> anyway, yeah, so I'm going to open some blind boxes. As you can see, I have three here. And these are all um, series that were available this year, 2022. And before we get into that, I wanted to make sure that um, whenever I'm making my videos, I want to make sure I'm giving you guys accurate information about these items. So in the, in, in a previous video, when I unboxed this Zombino figure, I closed it. As you can see, there's a little seam here. So I closed it, but I couldn't figure out how to open it again. It took me a little while to figure it out, but I wanted to show you. Ta-da! Isn't that awesome? So when you press the little horn, the tiny little unicorn pops up and then you can close it. Voila! So I wanted to make sure that you saw that. So that makes it even cooler. And I also made a video where I showed a few of the different chasers in my collection. Or actually, I showed my entire chaser collection. And one of the chasers that I have is this Wasabi Unicorno. And the whole time that I've had this, I've assumed that this was supposed to represent a piece of salmon sushi. And when I watched the video, I saw that he has a tail. So this isn't salmon, this is a shrimp. Duh. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to make sure to be accurate with that. And just to make sure for sure for sure, I can show you this other one. This is called Ebi-chan. Ebi-chan was included in the Sushi Korno collection. And Ebi is the Japanese word for shrimp. And you can see she has a little tail. And you can see the very similar, same, close enough, right? The other thing that you need to know about wasabi is wasabi was given to me as a gift by Leanna at Leanna Lynn's Wonderland. Wonderful little shop in Eagle Rock, California that sells all kinds of wonderful little items. And she gifted this lovely wasabi unicorn to me. Thank you so much. Anyway, let's go ahead and open some blind boxes. As you can see, I have three boxes. I have Donatella and her Sweet Friends Series 4. I have one of the Sweet Fruits Unicornos, and I also have one of Unicorno Series 11. And let's go ahead and take a look at this one. And I, of course, I always love the artwork on all of these boxes. And this is the signature shape of the Donatella series box. Here's the front of the box. It features all of the characters. Hello, my name is 
there's Donatella. Here's Donatella dressed as a chef with her little chef hat. This is the chase, one of two chasers. This one is Candyman. There's also Sweet Panda, Rainbow Ice. I already have Donatella. I already have Sweet Panda. I would love a Rainbow Ice. I would love a Cinnabella. I would love a Sweet Tooth. I already have a Teddy Freeze and I have this version of Mochitella. So which one would you like? Let's go ahead and see who we have. This series is super duper cute. Here's the inside of the box. Very cute. Do you have any of this series? Here's the little pamphlet. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I totally have been wanting one of these so bad. Okay, so this one is called Sweet Tooth and she is so cute. I totally adore her. She is wearing an outfit that is supposed to be based on the Japanese style crepes. Oh my gosh, she is so cute. She has whipped cream space buns and she has those little chocolate covered biscuits. Oh my goodness, and this is a piece of banana. Oh my goodness, I am so happy. I am so happy, yay! That is awesome. All right. Next, we have the Sweet Fruits Unicorno series. And I really like this series. Of course I like all the series, who are we kidding? That's why we're here, right? So in this series, I already have Queen Pina. I would really love to get a Princess Momo really badly. I already have a Kiwi. I'd like to get a Mellow Yellow. I have two versions of Watermelly already. I have the common version as well as the online exclusive version. I already have a banana peels and I don't have either one of the chasers, but the one that I would really like is Princess Momo. I think she's so pretty. So let's just go ahead and see who we have here. <laughs> Yay, look at how pretty she is. Oh my goodness. So she is a translucent peach colored unicorno. And Momo is the Japanese word for peach. So, oh my gosh. So she's got a lovely peach design and her tail and her mane are flopped. And she's got these pretty peach blossoms and tiny little peach peaches. Oh my goodness. I am so happy. Two for two. Oh my goodness. Yay. All right. Well, we are doing just great here, aren't we? So what I like to do when I make my videos, I have a little format that I like to follow. 
I usually only open three and that helps. I've found that I don't wind up with as many duplicates when I do that. And usually, if there's any others that I don't get from opening blind boxes, then I'll go on Mercari or, or eBay and I'll buy them pre-opened. But yeah, I'm feeling super lucky. <laughs> anyway, so our last one, whoops. Our last one is Unicorno Series 11, which is one of the most recent series to be released. I just made the most recent video just maybe last week or two weeks ago. Anyway, from this series, we have Gamer Girl, Swan Princess, Bunny Sunday. This is the one that I would really, really, really like very much. But I'd also like Ichika or Stalina BB or The Chaser. I have Ringleader and I have the blue version of Special Delivery. So who's it gonna be? So nerve wracking, but yeah, Bunny Sunday. Wouldn't it be awesome if that's what I got? <laughs> that would be like full on like witchcraft, right? Anyway, that's me. This one does feel kind of big. I didn't get the bunny sundae, but this is the other one that I really wanted. This is Ichika, and she is our origami and origami themed unicorn. -o. Oh my gosh, look at these amazing wings. So she has an origami crane, crane on her head, and she has a cherry blossom design on her mane, and on the inside, of her head. I believe this is supposed to represent the sun on the Japanese flag. Her mane is gradient like orange and pink and light purple and her tail is like an origami tail and her body is translucent and it's got a lovely orange to pink gradient colors with white hooves and she has Mount Fuji and sakura blossoms on her. Oh my gosh, I love her. Well, even though I didn't get a bunny sundae, I'm not disappointed one single bit with this beautiful Ichika. What do you think? So out of these three, who is my favorite? It's really hard to say because I've really wanted both of these two very much. But you know what? I'm super stoked that I have Miss Sweet Tooth here. I think she is so adorable. And Donatella and her sweet friends, that's definitely one of my most favorite series. Anyway, thank you so much to all of my subscribers, all 104 of you. I appreciate every single one of you. And I hope you enjoy my videos. I probably only have a couple more that I'll be making between now and the end of the year. And um, hopefully there'll be lots of awesome new things to look forward to in the next year. And if you've got any comments or questions or suggestions, you know what to do. I really do appreciate all the awesome comments I've been getting lately. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.